today. We're off to an old firm game, but Noji Noji would quite recognise it as Celtic B Rangers B at Celtic Park. I just thought it'd be quite a good game we're going and take. I think there'll be an old bad crowd actually given the fact that it is at Celtic Park and I've not I've not done a vlog at any of the old firm stadiums yet so I thought it was quite a good opportunity. With the game just being along the road for me, it's it's a Tuesday night, I'm not doing much so why not go and take in a game of football with hopefully some of Scottish, Scotland's um, best young talent uh, will be on show tonight so should be a good game, going as a neutral and um, may the best team win, let's go! chance there for the visitors, it was Weston picked up the ball at the edge of the box, slips it to McCausland who cuts inside and tries to drag one into the far corner but the Celtic goalkeeper gets down and saves well. Rangers goalkeeper then booked, Parker without his goal and challenging the Celtic number nine Kenny. I have to say the two teams as Rangers that are looking the most likely, that's another chance for them. Paul McKinnon picked it up 25 yards to go and drilled one straight to the Celtic keeper. Yami, and it's, um, I don't know about that pronunciation by the way, that was terrific but I can tell you for the fact that it is, it's still now another good chance for Rangers, the Cogland again slipped in, he has a shot and it's deflected over the bar to the corner and Rangers are just about to take here, slipped in, oh it's a good header, he got a vital header, don't know why the goalkeeper's coming for that. Half time Celtic now, Rangers now, I think uh, the two sides, the Rangers got the most promising. I was looking forward to seeing like, the, what, the guy that everybody knows, Karim Oko Dembele. I was expecting him to look a cut above everybody, but no, he, he's not he's very good at all, to be honest. He's been very, very quiet. Uh, Rangers have had a couple of chances to him with Cosman and Weston, but um, I think out of the two teams, most likely to score for the Rangers at the minute. But, I will see what the second half brings. I'm just hoping that there's going to be goals because it's been a bit, a bit dull. But what I will show you is in here. You'll we'll get a wee room in here. Like it's similar to St. Burren. It's not quite as jazzy as I want to St. Burren. But um, no, if you're here at Celtic Park with a home supporter, you can come in here at half time. They've got the Sky Sports on the TV. And it's it just basically you can come in here for a bite to eat, keep yourself warm. So, that's very good for the pub, but it's only pub Celtic apart from St. Mirren that I've seen with something like that, so that's good for him. But hang on a second half, and hopefully we get some goals. I, I had a great view up here, good noise for the boys in the corner. Celtic tonight, there's no more penalty, Carol Dembele, Carol Dembele had a shot at the top. Celtic tonight, there's no more penalty, Carol Dembele had a shot at the top. Carol Dembele had a shot at the top, Carol had a shot at the top. Scared the Rangers defender on the hand, but he did hold his head, he did leave that again and chip there. Corner whipped in, cleared, back out. Oh, now a chance for Rangers to counter. He's defending well, but he didn't have enough. Something's got to get tighter. Slip out. Good delivery, nobody in the back four. They just thought they have a goal. It was a great free kick by McCausland. Um, tipped in the post by all the way, made goals for Celtic. I have to say, the Celtic goalkeeper's going to the shot stopping. Uh, he's kicked good okay tonight, but a bit rash coming for some crosses. But no, it's been a good performance for the Celtic goalkeeper. McCausland and Weston for Rangers, as well as the full back, the 
One nil to Rangers, just as I said, the goalkeeper for Celtic looked a bit rash coming for crosses, uh, but he's short stop and he's kicking me good. <laughs> it's a corner for Rangers, it's what I've done, and he comes for it again. It's nowhere near it, and Cole McKinnon heads into an empty net. It proceeds to celebrate in front of the Celtic fans, which didn't go down well here, but one nil Rangers, and deservedly so, in my opinion, they've been the better than two sides so far. Celtic nearly get a goal. It's good play from Rocco Vata on the wing. And he slips in Cadam over the belly, but he just can't get his first touch right. The Rangers centre back slide in and clears it off. Oh, it was so bad and nearly 2-0 to Rangers with the offside flag was up there. Weston was in, they tried to take the goal, it went wide, nevertheless. Wide when the flag went up, there's about 15 to go roughly. I don't know, I can't really tell you because I've not got a scoreboard in front of me. But it's still Raiders 1, it's Celtic now, you that Celtic Park. Celtic the Lake Eyes again, Cannibal with the Melee picks up the ball on the edge of the box, cuts inside and kills one just by the post, but honestly, time stick away and Raiders are looking comfortable. Uh, the Raiders 1 0. Chance here for Celtic, he's well up with Ben Sellers, he skips by a defender, kills one. It looks like it's going to the bottom corner, but it's well saved for the Raiders keeper. And then again, I think I've had this camera or something like that, but no, it's well cleared. Celtic pushing, but it's still a 1 0 in Rangers. Last chance of the game here, I'd imagine Celtic will get a free kick in the crossing position. I'd imagine they're going to aim for the big guy, Joey Dawson, who made his debut against St. Johnson for the first team this year. He's come on as a sub, whipped in, and it wants to have a straight in the goal. His hand, oh, it's marked it. Rangers clear, and that's full time. Rangers 1, Celtic 0. Thanks for tuning in the vlog and I'll see you in the next